Claire Booth Luce, writer, playwright, and political activist of the 30s and 40s, while serving as editor of Vanity Fair magazine, was asked, what makes a good editor? Claire said a good editor sees the trends, follows the trends, and then finds people to speak and write about those trends and do that instead of talking about what they want to talk about. Welcome to Conservative Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith at Conservative Coffee Hour. We talk about topics and issues that actually make a difference in people's lives. I think that no matter where you might be on the political spectrum, we can all agree we're in a terrible mess. At the 2016 presidential Democratic debates, Marianne Williamson was asked about um, our current situation at that time. And she said, you know, it's unrealistic to think that the people, the very people who got us into this ditch are gonna get us out of this ditch. I think we can all see that very clearly that we're in a terrible spot. Each week at Conservative Coffee Hour, we take a look at a candidate, an issue, or a topic for discussion. Our co-host, Larry Lawrence Legas, uh, is, is terrific in bringing a string of guests and topics and candidates for us to, to learn and to um, expand our understanding of the process as well as who is operating within it. This week, we'll be speaking with Kathy Salvi. Kathy Salvi is running for US Senate. She recently won the primary here in Illinois against other candidates who, candidates who energized and um, created a lot of excitement in the electorate here. Kathy will be speaking about her platform, her issues, things she wants to talk about, but we're gonna follow Claire Booth's loose and, uh, advice and, and uh, ask her about what we're seeing as a trend. Last couple of calls on the, on the uh, Conservative Coffee Hour, people voiced concern about Kathy, how it was that she came out of seemingly nowhere at the last minute and um, became our candidate. Um, and that's a good question. Also, previously we've asked candidates what is the role of U.S. Senator and what, are, what should our expectations be, how are expectations being met or not met with our current candidates, and how Kathy can do better. Uh, another important topic and trend and theme we're following and have consistently followed is uh, Rich Simon and the, from Ground Force and his topic of how do we keep these people accountable, no matter, regardless of who is elected, how do we keep our candidates and our elected officials accountable to us, the voter and the people of the state and of the nation. Um, a theme and topic that Lawrence repeatedly brings to the table is of course the idea that <laughs> just when we think we have it all figured out, we find out we're really being played again on another level. It seems to be we're being played within a play within a play. <laughs> Claire Booth Luce was no stranger to play. She had many successful Broadway productions and later on, went on to be uh, elected uh, representative from Connecticut and served in the House of Representatives and later went on to be the ambassador of Italy. Claire Booth Luce worked on every presidential campaign for Republican candidates, starting with Eisenhower to Ronald Reagan. It's an excellent example of how, no matter where we are uh, in our involvement in politics or in social issues, that everyone makes a difference and we never know how the story is going to end. If you would like to join us at Conservative Coffee Hour, Conservative Coffee Hour is every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. I will include my email in the description of this video, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. <laughs>